Hello friends, Osiris here, and in today's video, we're going to go over some of the best solo builds for the seven-star terror raid event for Charizard when it returns to Scarlet and Violet later this week. So from the 13th of March later this week until the 17th of March, we're going to see the seven star terror raid event for Charizard make its return to Scarlet and Violet. We know from the original promo of this event, you can see the line that Charizard appearing in this event series will have the same stats and moves as the mighty Charizard that appeared in the previous mighty Charizard event. Now, based on this information, preparing for this event is going to be a lot easier than some of the previous ones. But there is a caveat if you have already caught the seven star Charizard in your games from previous events when it has appeared, you're not going to be able to catch another one this time around, although you will be able to go into the raid and farm for those items. And hopefully we do see a repeat of the Herba Mystica drops like we had with the Venusaur and the Blastoise, giving everyone that's already caught the Charizard a reason to go back in and take part in this event so from previous information we know that the charizard will be level 100 it will have its hidden ability solar power and the moves it will have are dragon pulse fire blast hurricane focus blast with additional moves of overheat terra blast sunny day and inferno we'll have the mightiest mark it will have the dragon terra typing it can never be shiny and it will have a modest nature like we've already mentioned it can only be caught once per save file so if you have caught this before and you can only go back in to farm for the item drops. Now we know a little bit about how the raid interacts. So the first sequence that we're going to look out for is going to be the 98% of the time remaining in the raid. That's going to be pretty much very early on in the raid. After it uses that overheat, it's going to reset any stat drops it's taking. And that is the only time it's going to reset its stat drops throughout the raid. Then it's 70% of its health remaining. It's going to remove the stat boosts on our side of the field, as well as nullify our abilities for one turn. Then the next stage is when its health is at 65% remaining and that's when the shield goes up. Other than that, there's not really too much you need to know. There is the turn where it sets up Sunny Day, goes for the Inferno, but generally outside of those three that we've just outlined, they're the big important ones to make note of. And of course, there is the slim chance that they do change the sequence of how this Charizard interacts in the raid. But considering that it's exactly the same as previous Charizard events that we've had already, I would say this is probably spot on with what we'll see the Charizard interact like when the raid goes live. Of course, the item drops will be very similar to what you're seeing here, although we're hoping for Herba Mystica drops alongside this 7-star Charizard. And of course, it will be running from the 13th until the 17th of March. And talking about builds that we are going to feature in today's video, they'll all be linked down in the description below, but we're going to start off with probably one of the most accessible Pokemon that you're going to have available. It's not a version exclusive, so everyone has access to this Pokemon. It's going to be very consistent and also very quick for farming those Herba Mystica drops if we see them repeated with this Charizard. So the Sylveon is going to have the Fairy Terra typing. It is going to have the held item of the Covert Club. That just helps you get around the secondary effects of the confusion that Hurricane carries with it and also the burn chances that the Charizard can inflict on you with its fire type attacks. We are level 100. We are hyper trained as well. Just make sure that all those IVs are set to 31. And we've got the move set of Hyper Beam, Calm Mind, Fake Tears and Draining Kiss with the EV spread of 252 EVs in special attack and 252 evs in special defense with the remaining evs the six of them put into that hp and a modest nature we'll make sure that you have if you're running the hyper beam you've got that pixelate hidden ability on here if you don't want to run pixelate and you want to just go with the normal ability then you can run moon blast over the hyper beam it's just as consistent a method but the hyper beam gives you a way to kind of close the raid out a lot quicker once you've got those calm minds set up in the raid Basically, you're going to start off in this raid with a Calm Mind. Then you're going to go for those three fake tiers. Intermittently, you're going to have to go for the Draining Kiss just to recover some health. But try and get three fake tiers off before that shield goes up. Because that's going to put the Charizard's special defense down to minus six. It reduces the Charizard's special defense by two stages every time you use it. And then when the Charizard's remaining HP hits that 70% mark. And it's reset any stat boosts on your side of the field. That's when you want to start going for those Calm Minds. Get those set up. And then you'll be able to utilize Draining Kiss whenever you need to. To restore health. And then launch the Hyper Beam when you've got five to six Calm Minds set up. To close the raid out. It's going to be a very consistent build like I say a very reliable one that everyone has access to so why i started with it in today's suggestions next up is the flutter main another tried and tested formula here going into the raid you're going to have no problems with the flutter main against the charizard terra typing is going to be a fairy 
covered cloak is going to be the held item again for the same reasons that we had it on the sylvian level 100 hyper trained of course and the move set is going to be moonblast fake tears calm mind and draining kiss with the EV spread of 252 in special attack, 252 in special defense with a modest nature, and the remaining EVs, those six, put into HP. Basic premise again, because you're going to be outspeeding the Charizard when you go into the raid. Turn one, turn two, you can go for a Calm Mind. Then again, pretty much the same principles as the Sylveon, where you're going to go for those three fake tiers to lower the special defense on the Charizard, hopefully by minus six before the shield goes up. Just bear in mind when the shield goes up, the fake tears will fail. So you need to get these fake tears off early on in the battle before that shield goes up on the 65% of the Charizard's health remaining. Then once the shield goes up and you've had your stats reset, dropped by the Charizard when it hits that 70% of its health remaining, you can go for those Calm Minds. Just use Draining Kiss as and when required to keep your health in a good position so you're not in any danger of getting knocked out. And then utilize the Draining Kiss and the Moon Blast whenever you need to throughout the raid to kind of close it out and flut them in a very consistent way to go into the Charizard and close it out very quickly, especially if you are looking for something to be quick consistent and farm those herba drops when this raid goes live now the next build is a new one since the last time we saw the seven star charizard raid come to scarlet and violet but and this one isn't going to be available to everyone so only if you've got access to the dlcs will you have access to be able to catch pheasantipity and use it but it is a very good pokemon going into this raid of course it is a poison and fairy type we've got the terror type of fairy covered cloak is going to be the held item again just to get around the confusion and all of those burn chances that the Charizard can throw out at us. Level 100, hyper trained, of course, as well. And a move set of Roost, Calm Mind, Acid Spray, and a Moon Blast. We've got the Toxic Chain ability on here and the EV spread of 252 EVs in Special Attack and 252 EVs in Special Defense with the remaining EVs put into HP. The nice thing about Pheasantipity is it is one of the only Pokemon that gets access to Acid Spray that is a Fairy type that gives you the advantage against the Charizard. So you're going to be able to utilize that Acid Spray even if the shield goes up on the Charizard and not really have to be concerned about getting those stat dropping moves off early on in the raid before the shield goes up. So you can really concentrate on getting damage off getting to that point where you can terrestrialize and you've also got a recovery move here with the roost with the cover clock item as well you're not going to have to worry about the confusion or the burns like that that you can see from the moves that the charizard carries and you're going to be able to set up really run through the charizard hopefully quite quickly with this pheasant dip you've got a huge special defense stat as well but the basic premise is going to be again turn one turn two go for those calm mines to get yourself set up quickly then go for those acid sprays reduce the special attack on the charizard by two stages every time you use it and then get it down to minus six so the damage output from yourself is going to be maximized and then you're going to use a combination of roost whenever you need it and then moon blast which also has a very good chance to drop the special attack on the charizard every time you use it but a very powerful attack that you'll be able to utilize between the acid spray and the calm mind boost that you've got under your belt and then the roost to just recover as and when you need it again another newcomer to the dlcs but you can transfer this in from pokemon home as well it is primarina it is a water and fairy type probably the best water and fairy type that i would recommend taking into the charizard raid maybe not as effective as the other raid builds but still going to be something if you're a fan of primarina you want to use it in this raid probably going to be something that you can use to good effect again level 100 hyper trained the held item is going to be the expert belt and fairy is its terror typing the move set of misty terrain calm mind moon blast and draining kiss the ability here doesn't really matter you can go for its liquid voice ability but you're not really going to be utilizing in this raid so if you don't necessarily need it there's no need to change the ability there the ev spread again is going to be 252 evs in special attack and 252 evs in special defense with the remaining evs put into that hp stat basic idea here is going to be again go for that calm mind early on in the raid so it just gives you a bit of a boost to take those charizard attacks a bit better you've got great typing as well with the water and the fairy You're going to resist pretty much everything that comes out from this charizard excluding the hurricane of course but that can miss it's not the most accurate of attacks 
and you've got the misty terrain there which is going to allow you to alleviate any of those secondary effects like the burns like the confusion as long as that is on the field and then you can use the draining kiss to recover any damage done and moon blast is going to be your big damaging attack especially after you've got those calm mines set up after the charizard has reset those stat drops on your side of the field that is the primarina and a very good option i feel and just to mention as well it is a pokemon that you can go into this raid and solo with we've already got one built in your game it isn't going to be as consistent as the other options that i've mentioned here in particular the sylveon and the Fluttermane. and like i say if you do want to take a water and fairy type in i would say the primarina is probably a more consistent option even though we haven't tested the primarina than the azumarill but the azumarill build i would recommend if you are wanting to take it in as i say i don't think the most consistent in this raid but definitely one to consider gonna be level 100 gonna have the shell belt as the held item that's gonna give you a line of recovery it is going to have the fairy terror typing with the moveset of misty terrain belly drum light screen and play rough with an ev spread of 252 in attack and then 252 in special defense with an adamant nature the remaining evs just put into that hp stat and the ability is going to be huge power basic idea in this raid is going to be just go out all guns blazing turn one you're going to go for the belly drum get a play rough off get some damage off on the charizard allow it to reset the drops on your side of the field then if you're in that position to set up your light screen then your misty terrain so you kind of alleviate those problems that we've already talked about with the primarina with that misty terrain like getting rid of the chance of the hurricane confuse and the burns as well after your stats have been dropped when you're in the position to get another belly drum off hopefully after another three play roughs you'll be in the position to trust lies and then all being well you're going to be able to power through the charizard but like I say not as consistent as some of the other builds but one that I will throw in there because it is a decent option and you might already have it built in your game so you can go into it straight away but like I say probably the most consistent ones that I would recommend 100% going into this raid are going to be the Sylveon and the Fluttermane the two different Sylveon builds will be down in the description as well so if you don't want to go the pixelate route then the alternative with the moon blast will be down there as well so you can take a look at that one but they are the builds that i would recommend taking into the charizard when it goes live later this week of course the charizard isn't going to be running as long as the blastoise and the venusaur did previously they ran for nearly a week in total where the charizard only will be running from the wednesday till the sunday so it does kind of indicate that we might get a new seven star terror raid announced on the sunday evening when this raid drops but let me know down in the comment section below which Pokemon you think will be the next seven star terror raid event dropped in Scarlet and Violet. I'm going to put my money on Superior. I really do think it will be Superior this time round, but we'll have to wait and see. Hope you found today's video useful, friends. If you have, do a drop a like. If you've got other builds that you want to suggest and help out the community, then drop them down in the comment section below as well. But do subscribe to the channel to stay up to date with all of our Pokemon content. And I will see you all in another video very soon. So until then, friends, take care of yourselves and bye-bye.